So in this video we're going to look at installing OpenTunes. I've currently got version 6 on my machine and I'll be installing an updated version, version 7. We'll also look at installing the FFmpeg files so that we can import and export mp4s. So because I've got OpenTunes installed already, if you have, best to go into your OpenTunes stuff file and just call it something else because that's where OpenTunes will install itself so it'll create a new OpenTunes stuff file so just go and give it another name in this case I'll just call it OpenTunes stuff dash old and if you click on it you'll see all the projects in it in the projects file then get on the internet and go to OpenTunes.github site and scroll down to the download section you can also download GTS, which is a scanning software effects, which are more plugins effects. Kumo Works, which is a cloud drawing add-on to OpenTunes. And Iwo Warper, which I'll be honest, I have no idea what that is. Anyway, just click on OpenTunes and select whether you want to download for Windows or for Mac operating system. I want the Windows version 7.1. So I click that and just go through the normal procedure of downloading the file. It's putting it in the C drive. There's a new OpenTunes stuff folder it'll create. Click next and it will run through the install. Click finish and OpenTunes will boot up. Let's go and just check that it's clean. Go into the project route. There's nothing there. So nothing in scenes. So let's go and copy from our old folder, copy all those projects over. So you can just select that folder that we renamed old and go and grab all those projects in the project folder of, of that old OpenTunes stuff folder and copy them across to the new OpenTunes stuff folder in the projects file. So pretty straightforward. That's how you get your old work over to the new version. Let's just check that by loading a scene. Go up to the root and there are all the folders we've just copied over. Let's select one and just go and open a scene. There's our scene. Let's just go and take this background out. That is scene 2 that I'm working on currently on the course. So we've got OpenTunes running and we've got the new version installed and now what we need to do is load the ffmpeg files so that we can import and export mp4 files which are video files which you'll need to do go file down to preferences and down to import export and there is the path that we have to show opentunes where to go and find these ffmpeg files we don't have them yet, so we're still going to download them, but that's where they'll go. Well, that's where we'll put the path in there. We'll hit those three dots at the end, and we'll tell it where to go to find this. So let's just go get the FFmpeg files. Type in FFmpeg into your Google. There is a FFmpeg.org site. Go into that. Go and click the download button and that will give you options whether you want to download the Linux, the Windows or the Apple versions. We're Windows so let's click on that and it currently gives you two options of the XE files. Let's go have a look at the first one. Codex FFmpeg. Let's go have a look at the second one. These are auto build files. Let's go and select one of these. We'll select this one down here. Select it at the top right it's downloading the zip file. When it's finished, let's go and open it. There it is in our downloads folder. Let's go click on it and open it. And in the bin file of that, there are the three files you need. The ffmpeg, ffplay and ffprobe. All exe files. Go and select them, copy them. And then go across to where OpenTune stuff has been loaded. Should be on your C drive. And... In OpenTunes stuff, go and create a new folder and let's call that folder FFmpeg. Select it, open it and paste the three files in that we've just copied. So there they are, FFmpeg, FFplay and FFprobe. So that's where we're going to save them. 
And now all we need to do is go back into OpenTunes and give it the path to find those files. So again, go File, scroll down to Preferences, select it, go down to the Import Export section, select that, and there is the FFmpeg path that we have to tell it to go and find these three files. Go to the three buttons on the right, click that, and then we go and find the folder where these files are saved. So let's go up. It is in C drive, open to stuff, and the FFmpeg there. So go select that file, and then the bottom right, go and select choose, click it, and you can see that it's told it the path. So C drive, open to stuff, FFmpeg. That will now work. There's a little asterisk, and at the bottom it says changes will take effect the next time you run OpenTunes, meaning that you have to reboot it. So let's just save this, save all, and let's go close OpenTunes and reboot it. And let's open that scene again, and let's go to Preferences, Import Export. There's our path, it's got it in there. Let's close all that up, and let's go see if it's got the files as an option in the render. So click the render button, and here are our output settings. Select file, and let's see what options it has, JPEG, bitmaps, movies, and the MP4. So it's got it as an option that wouldn't have been there before we did this. And that's the whole point for installing these FFmpeg files. It doesn't come with OpenTunes. This is a add-on that you have to do. That's why we're doing this. And let's just go render this out. It's only one frame. So let's go have a look where it's saved it. It'll be in projects in the outputs file. And there it is there. It's just one frame, but it's MPEG. You can see there in the file. So let's see if it also works on the import. This is so that you can export MP4 files, but also import MP4 files. So let's create a new scene. And let's just go and grab one of these MP4 video files and drag it in. Drop it in and play it. And there we go, it works. So that is a bit of video from the beginning of the second scene. So the FFmpeg works on both the import and export. And we have OpenTunes working. So that's it. We have OpenTunes installed, the new version, and we also have the FFmpeg files installed and working. Of course, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to sign up for the newsletter, please go and do that. Otherwise, thanks very much for joining my channel again, and I hope I'll see you around here again. All the best and happy animating out there.